Hey friends, how's it going? This is David with The Plant Bar and I'm here with Crystal today. Hey guys! And we're going to be showing you how to turn trash into treasure using succulents and cactus. And today we're going to be using uh, a lantern that we got given to us to show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pick out some plants and we need to figure out what would go best in this lantern. So come hang out with us in our little plant area. Okay, so we're gonna pick out some plants to go in our new lantern, or I guess new to us lantern, um, and find some different textures to mix in there. We have a lot to choose from. We did have a party last night, so there are some big gaps in our plant wall right now. Normally I would gravitate to these beautiful calancho because of their color and the flowers, but these flowers are going to open up and then they're going to die. So it's most likely going to just be left with a bunch of green. Um, so I'm probably not going to pick those. And I want to do something with a little more texture and those are pretty big so they'll take up a lot of the space. Um, so I want to find a taller cactus maybe to go in the center. Um, when I planted my last lantern I had a really awesome really tall cactus but they're all gone now. Um, so I have some different options I could work with. I think I really like this guy right here. I think we'll try him. See how he'll work in there. If I can get him out without poking myself. And then I want to do some kind of cool barrel cactus. I do love my moon cactus. They're so cool and colorful. But I think I'm going to do a different theme this time. Let's see. See, I like this barrel cactus with the flower on it. I think, let's see what else there is. Oh, I really like this one right here. Let's go with this one. It's really cool. It's got a bunch of little ones. That'll be fun. Okay, let's go over to the smaller succulents and cactus. See if there's any succulents we wanna grab. Lots of cool firestorms. There's not a lot of color right now. It's very green. It's summer. Um, but the, the colors will come back. Ooh, I really, I really love this one. Look at this. It's got a little baby growing off there. Yeah, we'll get that one. Get a nice little arrangement going on. All right. Let's see what else can we get. I think I'm gonna do a firestorm. Maybe this one, look at that. That one's got nice red in it. Bring in some color for us. Oh, I really like this chicks and hen. I might, I'm gonna grab this one. I might not use it, but we'll play with it and see. Cause I already got kind of a, a round one going on. Might be too many plants already. I always have a hardest time making decisions. So best thing to do is just grab what you like and then play with it and change it out. I love this. That's super cool. Crassula, it's got a little bit of red. It'll get a little bit redder over time as it changes. Right now it's pretty green, but I like it. And then I'm gonna grab one more, maybe two more. <laughs> I really like this thimble cactus. This little thimble cactus going in there. Kind of looks like Choya. It's fun. Okay, we'll try that guy. So I probably have too many plants, but we'll see what happens. Lots of green. Where's all the colors? Some cool jelly beans right there. And a blue aloe, maybe we'll do a blue aloe. Hmm, oh, let's try, let's try this mimicry plant right here. It's got a little bit of red going on. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks cool. Okay, so here's our palette. We're gonna bring it over to our workstation and see what we can make with all these. Whoa, holy cow. Okay, so let's hope David likes what I picked. Um, I got a bunch of different things here and we will see what, I personally would start with the biggest one. David might do it differently, but I like starting with the biggest one. Yeah, I'm going to let Crystal take the reins here. I'm just going to be here as her trusty sidekick. Great. And uh, I'm going to help her if I need to. But otherwise, I'm just going to hang out and watch you work. 
All right, well, first thing we need to do is we need to make a little bed for our plants. Um, so they're nice and cozy and they can grow in, in this, uh, this trash, I guess, right? Yeah, it's a, this is a metal lantern, so when we have that, luckily we're using cactus it's and succulents. So. Really cool trash. In fact, our good friend Adam Johnson uh, with Duty Defense was out working one day and he brought me a bunch of stuff and this was one of the items that he brought me. So we're really excited and very thankful for Adam. Thank yeah, you, Adam. Thanks for picking Adam. We're going to uh, give this some, some new new life. So David grabs some sphagnum moss and some sand and he's mixing it together. I like to do this in the lantern to give a nice stable edge. Um, I'll keep the soil in, keep the plants happy. Just creates a nice little barrier around the edge since it's very, very shallow. Yeah, we, so we added some distilled water. You don't have to necessarily use distilled water. But this is similar to what you, you make. Uh, we do this when we do carnivorous plants and stuff like this. I did a 50-50 mix. So the same one-to-one -one ratio, basically, as much sand as sphagnum moss poured in some water to get it to mix. Once you do that, you get uh, you feel like you're at the beach a little bit. <laughs> you mm. get this all over the place. I miss the beach. Ooh. Don't get it in your hair. No, it's covered it's up. It's not any fun. Okay, so now you're just gonna build your right. build your little base there. So we didn't do straight sphagnum moss because that'll that'll hold a bunch of water down Too there much. at the base, so we don't want to necessarily do that. We'll never put a lot of water on these to begin with, but just in case, we mixed it with some sand to, to make it a little less water retaining. And I've already taken the, the straps off of the cactus so that we're ready there. <laughs> We're extra prepared tonight. So now we're gonna take some soil. Um, I like to mix in some activated charcoal and some perlite to give it some drainage. We're gonna build our own drainage within this little area because it doesn't have a hole, obviously. Yep. We'll just... so, so both of those will pull the moisture away from the roots and they never break down. They, they hold that in there in this planter forever. So. Um, we do that with all of our succulent and cactus, uh, terrariums, pots, anything we make, we always mix in extra stuff, including, and this is a cactus mixed soil to begin with. So when you're mixing uh, activated charcoal and perlite, uh, we usually, uh, with the cactus mix, usually if you're doing, uh, I don't really have the parts, but if you have basically like a, a gallon of soil, it's you know, a cup of each of the, the different parts. So one cup of perlite and one cup of activated charcoal. Ooh. So you're not gonna touch that. Yeah, don't, touch. don't touch this. <laughs> this is called a Caribbean tree. Um, I like it, it does kind of have a Caribbean feel to it. But I'm gonna put this guy in the center and like he said, I'm not gonna touch it. So I'm gonna use my trusty sidekick, my tongs. I use these all the time, despite David, he says, touch the cactus, and I say, heck no, I ain't getting pricked. But, so what I like to do is I like to lower the dirt. You just do it very slowly, because you don't want it to fall apart, especially if this guy falls apart on you, you're gonna get poked, and that is not going to be fun. And I'm probably gonna get poked, so let's see. I'm being very brave. So what she's doing is she's just trying to flare out the root ball, not necessarily tearing away the roots, yep. flaring those out, keeping the roots in place, and then just trying to make the make the soil shorter. Shorter so that I can put them in here. And this is gonna be the tricky part. So I built up my area and now I'm gonna make like a little So you're gonna hole. tuck, you're gonna tuck it in there. Yep. That's the way, that's a good job there. It in there. So anytime you're doing sand or you're doing stuff like this, you can just kind of wiggle it in and it'll 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 get itself in place. It works out pretty and, good that way. And you're gonna make a mess, so do this in an area where you don't care. Um, we're gonna clean it up, of course, but we're gonna make a mess first. Build like a little mound of dirt. 
Okay, you can't in see there. this side, but I'm going to get this side for you. Yeah, I have to turn it around, I'm sure. So you just kind of kind of mound it. Yeah. You want to like tuck it in so that it's nice and tight. And it'll get tighter as you plant more. And I might regret planting this first. <laughs> uh, but it... Yeah, you, you, you're going to. <laughs> it definitely looks... So you're going to do the next... Looks cool right there, but... Now I gotta decide. So remember, I told you I probably picked too many plants, and David's probably gonna go, "Uh, what are you trying to do here? This guy's probably too big." So we might just go with, let's see, I might do the thimble cactus next. A little thimble. That one you gotta pull out with your hands. No. I'll do it for you. He's gonna do it. There's only a couple big tall guys. My in hero. Here. So I don't know if we need to, yeah, I probably need to shorten him a little bit. I don't know. I'm probably gonna try and tuck him in the corner here and work my way. Yeah, I'm gonna shorten him a little bit. I'm not touching it. Oh, I guess I can't do that. <gasps> no, I'm gonna so, have to touch it. So one of the one of the tips when you're when you're building these, I would if you're if you know you're going to have to shorten up the root balls. I would definitely wet the root ball before I do it so that it's it's just a little easier, it's not as messy, it doesn't fall apart as much as she's doing. But it's okay. You can do it either way. That's just pro tip. Dave, it's the pro. I am not. No, you are. I'm learning. I'm gonna tuck Hold him on. in right there and we're gonna make a mess and then I'll have to clean it up. But I'm, I more so wanna like just get placement and see how I like it and then once I like it, then I'll really tuck them in. Ooh, I just got pricked right now. Awesome. See, it happens to the best of us. But like, I mean, you literally can plant in anything that has an opening, a space, and you can plant in it for free if you find it on the side of the road like Adam did. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna put this crassula in the front. I'm gonna shorten this one to, I'm probably gonna shorten all of them because this is a really shallow pot or okay. lantern, it's not a pot. But yeah, I love turning trash into treasure, especially in a lantern, like how cool is that? Um, and you can, you can find lanterns anywhere. So I'm like, why not? I'm gonna... All right, we're gonna go right here, I think. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna give these root balls a little bit of water. He doesn't like my methods. That's how I always do it. Well, I'm just trying to make it easier. We'll see how much easier it is. I promise. So I don't know that I like how much the guy in the middle is leaning. So we're gonna have to like build him more stable as we go, but I should try to get another succulent over that way. So I'm gonna go with this guy. Gonna... So he did get it wet. I don't think it made a difference. It's, it hasn't soaked in It yet. just made it a little more dirty. Lies, tons of lies. It's so pretty, look, he's got a cute little baby on there. You can take, if you've got like little Little dead sprouts on the bottom, you can pull them off. So yeah, there's a little there's a little tiny baby right there too. So cute. Okay, let's see. So hmm. Can I get him back here if I move Mr. Cactus? Here I can help you. Up. Usually you'd have to do all this too on your own. And I've done it on my own. He didn't even know I planted the last lantern. I was like, hey, I planted the lantern, boom. And everybody loved it, and then it didn't stay. It was gone. And that's the point here of the plant bar is let's not keep the plants, right? Yeah, what we want, well, we want to build, we want to try to repurpose and create trash and make it somebody else's treasure that they can take it home and, and use it to decorate their house with and have some, some living plants. And I will say, like, building something out of nothing is really therapeutic. You can create this beautiful masterpiece out of something that maybe was just some, like it was just left on the side of the road. So yeah, and we're starting to get really cool textures in here. It's starting to look very Jurassic. 
It's like Jurassic Park in here. Um, yeah, so basically this thing gets mounded up in the middle and then it kind of terraces out. And, and the reason that you can do this with these types of plants is, well, one, if you're bringing a water bucket over for these plants, you're in trouble to begin with. So they don't need a lot of water. It's a couple tablespoons at a time per plant, and that's, that's it. So we can get away with a lot. Um, the plants also store their water in the, in the leaves or in the, the cactus of, of each plant so that you can literally, that's so much better. This is not better. I do not like his method. I like mine. You get way more dirty air. Yeah, that's that's why it's fun. You told me that it was to get cleaner. This is not cleaner. This is way mess hair. Yeah, it's a little tricky getting in here and getting it like level to where it doesn't fall over the edge. But we're gonna clean up that edge with some rocks and some moss so that you don't have to, it won't be so dirty. Now, okay, I will say that wasn't easier to plant, uh -huh. but I'm a freaking wreck right now. <laughs> now, now you're gar now you're now you're getting your hands dirty. Now you're gardening. Well, yeah. Look at I that one, that. even better. Oh, this one's worse. Oh. So wow. this is a hens and chicks. Yeah, chicks and hens. Hens and chicks. Yeah, semper vivum, if you want. Semper vivum. Then, then it's. So I'm pulling off. Better. There's some like dead leaves underneath and that's totally normal. They usually shed underneath and then grow new pups. I'm pulling off the dead before I plant it. No, I, I like the I like the plants else. that you picked out to put in this lantern. Good. There's little hints of, of red and purple that pull the pull the color down. Yeah, that's what I was trying to yeah. trying to do. I, I you did it. Do you think we should use the, the firestorm? Uh nope. Nah. Probably not. We'll leave that I think that off. you with that plant, that is enough. One, two, three, four. Well, we could put it in there. I mean. So because you got one, two, three, four, five, six plants. Yeah. You could put it back there. <laughs> Kinda already... see what I did here. Um, yeah, there's like a big naked gap right here. Yeah, put yeah, it. Put right it there. There. What are you gonna do it's here? It's much more prettier from the front. So I want to make all the sides pretty. Okay, hold on. So, so I already... I'm gonna I'm gonna help her out so that she doesn't try to do this from the front. We're gonna pop this guy. Ugh, I'm so dirty now. Right in here. Part of being at the plant bar is you get dirty. But if you come to the plant bar and you get dirty, we clean it up for you, so you don't have to take. Well, I'm not off. washing anybody's hands. Well, no, but I made a big old mess. Yeah. We gotta push him up. He's like really top heavy. And this guy's gonna go right here. So the next step is, that she's going to be doing is just, uh, oh gosh, Making not that. that. So in between your plants, as you plant any time, there's going to be some gaps and, and you want to fill the gaps with soil and pinch with your hands. And then when you pile the dirt up, you don't want to cover up the root balls. You just want to get in between. So sometimes you might have to use your, you can use your fingers or if you need to, if it's a tight spot or if there's cactus spines or something you don't want to touch. We use uh, popsicle sticks or something, anything you have laying around um, that can get in there. When, when designing, especially with plants, you always want to try to use odd numbers. And that's why I tried to force doing the other one. So now we have, we have seven plants. Uh, sometimes with the decoration, you can get away with less because you can fill the void with something else that's larger, a big rock or something like that. So we use dust off here. It actually works really well. And what I'm doing, I'm just spooning in a little more of this mixed soil that we have into this uh, lantern. Let me spin this, uh, spin, spin this guy around. And so when I'm, when I'm compacting, I use a lot of pressure. I, I wanna really get the soil. I knew there was no way I was doing this all by myself. Oh. Yeah, just a little it's help. It's okay, I wanted him to help. Yeah, so just need to finish pinching in the soil. We've got it all nice and covered up. The gaps are filled in. Uh, the reason you wanna fill in these gaps is because when, when stuff starts to settle in, you don't want a plant to be lower than the others. We want the root balls to all be the same. same. All right, so now that we've got everything planted and in place, 
Uh, the last step of, of this uh, project is going to be decorating it. We're going to be using some river pebble as well as moss. Crystal's picking it all out right now. And so when designing, you want to try to uh, not have like half and half. <clears throat> you know, you want to kind of meld it together, let stuff kind of flow in, in some sort of, not really pattern, but, but kind of not be split or be too harsh. It doesn't look as good. Um, this part's kind of tricky. I like to get, what I like to do is I like to put rocks in the edge. To help hold up the... To help hold in the dirt so that it doesn't come out. Although it might come out a bit. So you can, you can do rocks in one end and then you can do moss in another so that it's not rocks all the way around because I kind of don't want rocks all the way around. But I'll start fitting in some rocks in one corner and then working my way through. Oops. Um, it's gonna be a little game on like decorating on how you wanna do it. But I go catty corner maybe. Pressing them then into the, the edge here, right? Yep, just kind of gently pressing them in. Covering up the soil. rock all over and I'm going to put some of this moss in there, this pretty green fuzzy moss. <laughs> put it in there. But we're just going to fill it in a couple spots and then fill the rest in with some more rock. And then it's just about done. Ow! That hurt. I always touch the cactus. No. I'm trying to not hit the cactus. Where's the stick? My trusty side stick. Sidekick. I'm pretty nerdy. I can't help it. That's why David loves me. Mm-hmm. Puts up with all my nerdiness. today. <laughs> Lots of little fins in here. If you're going to use an air can, just make sure you practice on your hand or something else because if you push it too hard, you'll blow the dirt everywhere. You'll like undo everything you did. So it's a little bit of a learning curve if you haven't used one before for cleaning out the plants. Um, it's, it's really easy to want to shake it and you're not supposed to do that. Um, it kind of, I think I do that because I use hairspray and you shake the hairspray. I'm not really sure, but I really want a tendency to shake it. And when you shake it, it gets really cold and uh, yeah, it's not good to do. Plus, um, if you push too hard on the air, it actually will freeze whatever it sprays. Yeah, so yeah, don't freeze, don't freeze the leaves. Spray very... Right, so we let that lock, turn yeah. it around so that you can see it right here. So there's completed. Completed, trash to treasure, planting in a lantern. I like it. Yeah, it looks great. Thing looks cool. Yeah. So hopefully uh, somebody will take this and make it their new treasure in their home. And uh, if not, it'll hang out here at the plant bar and I like looking at it. Yeah, so. I'm sure it won't be here too long. No. So as far as water, I like to use this little guy and it's just a couple tablespoons per plant. And you want to get into the substrate, so we're not watering the plants, hoping it trickles down. 
we want to get it in to the dirt. So just a little bit, a couple tablespoons. Uh, I'll do it now, kind of show you how much water we usually give each plant. So it's not a lot, it's nowhere near enough to really be pouring out the sides or anything like that. Which is why it's cool, you can pretty yep. much plant anything. And so to check this, all you do is move the moss or the rock out of the way and put your finger in the dirt and check if it's dry or wet. If it's wet, you leave it alone. If it's dry, give it you know a couple tablespoons per plant. And, uh, we recommend checking about once a week. Mm -hmm. um, just depends on where it goes in your house. So if you find a planter that, or, or a lantern or anything that you've found, um, maybe while picking or just randomly on the street and you're not sure if you can plant it, you can always contact us or comment below or send us a picture and say, can I plant this? And we can give you some tips on how to, how to do it. And we'll try to find different things to plant in to just show you different ways you can plant random junk. And yeah, so please remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you can get cool videos like this one. I'm Crystal. And I'm David. And, and this, this is, is Plant, plant Bar, Bar Arizona. Arizona. Bye.